I'm Stephen Katz. I'm uh, the president and chief pilot for Skyladder Drones. Skyladder Drones helps companies. We focus on the architectural firms, construction industry, and real estate industry. And uh, taking photographs from the air obviously is great, but what we also do is aerial mapping. And to do aerial mapping, you have to travel a longer distance, but what it creates is a 3D model. We're in an urban area. Right, we're close to LAX, there's cell towers, there's just a lot going on, there's construction sites. Um, we were definitely not line of sight with any of the, the visual observers and communicating with those visual observers was critical. And being that close to LAX, making sure everything goes flawlessly, we had a lot to worry about. And the one thing we didn't have to worry about were radios. And that was a real nice thing. Knowing that we can just turn them on, you look down, you saw the channel it was on. We had a large crew. We had 10 people on our crew. LA Metro had their team there. Also, they had two police officers from LA Metro there to make sure that traffic was controlled and that we were flying safely. And we couldn't have anything that would delay that communication. So cellular wouldn't work. We had the option of communicating individually with teams, but we decided just to have everybody on one group channel. And that allowed everybody to know what was happening. We ended up having not just one drone in the air, towards the middle and the end of the day, we ended up flying two drones during the day. So we flew one drone one direction with one crew being communicated to, and then a second drone going the other direction because again, we we're mapping a railroad and it's kind of a long, thin corridor. And so having the radios that can transmit a half mile one direction and a half mile the other direction and have them be able to see it, hear each other in a, again, crowded urban environment, cell phones going, your cell towers there, their electrical power, plus something that wouldn't interfere with our drone operations was critical. And with RCA radios, it just worked. 